Shannon, this is unlike anything we've seen. It's kind of surreal, you know. We just every year put it off, put it off, put it off, and now all of a sudden, well, you got 130,000 acres burn in one day. The smoke behind me really is volcanic. Just hoping for the best for everybody. They said one of their loved ones and her boyfriend lost their home. They watched it go up in smoke last night. And here's hoping that this place that is so precious and so loved by all of us is spared. It is the second largest wildfire in Colorado's history. It was deadly and one of the most destructive on record. The East Troublesome Fire burned nearly 200,000 acres, exploding in one night, destroying more than 350 homes. That fire also claimed two lives. One year ago tonight, families were rushed out of their homes. Many didn't have a home to come back to. And tonight, a somber ceremony to mark the moment that changed Grand Lake forever. Denver 7's Sloan Dickey was there. 21 tolls marking October 21st. This loss has impacted so many people on so many different levels, but this is our opportunity to come together as a community to reflect. To reflect on a night one year ago that changed the Grand Lake community forever. A year ago tonight, I told my son to look back because I didn't think we were ever coming home. So to say that this is special isn't enough. It's, it, there's not enough words for that. One year later, homes are still demolished, forests are still charred, and businesses are still trying to rebuild. People have had insurance issues, people have had trouble settling, or they go back to a lot that was beautiful. Now it's a burned out black piece of scorched earth. But for the small community gathered here, this brief moment commemorates a year of rebuilding. People grieve differently, people feel emotion different ways, and it's bringing the community together to kind of comfort those and get them moving forward. Some are relieved using tonight as closure as the community works to rebuild. Others still reeling from the pain of loss, but all are thankful for the heroes who battled against the flames. Loneliness is a very dark and deep well. In most cases, love is the only cure. That love reflected back by the fire department that kept this town standing. Our hope is for the community as a whole, it can kind of symbolize the end of watch as far as the uh, fire goes. A community tested, but not broken. We are all still here, all of us standing here together tonight, one year later, as neighbors, as friends, and as a strong and healthy community. And the community will gather here once again on Saturday to celebrate and thank those first responders who are on the front lines against the East Troublesome Fire. In Grand County, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7. And after the East Troublesome Fire, you, our Denver 7 Gives viewers, really showed up. Your kindness and generosity helped us raise more than $300,000 for wildfire victims. And all week long, we've been introducing you to the people and groups that received your donations. And tonight, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is back with a recap of where your money went and just how much it means to those in the fire's path. There is no better example of the Colorado spirit than your response to last year's devastating wildfires. Combined, those fires destroyed more than 600,000 acres and 500 homes. You donated more than $300,000 to the victims and first responders. Here's a look back at the stories highlighting your incredible generosity. Thanks to generous donations from viewers to our Denver 7 Gives Wildfire Victims Fund, we brought in breakfast we got lunch. and lunch for more than 140 fire evacuees. Your donations also allowed Denver 7 Gives to go shopping for those who made it out with nothing more than the clothes on their backs. So appreciate it. It'll be nice to have a nice warm shirt. We also met firefighters on the front lines, several of whom lost their own home like Taylor Clifton. The fire was moving so quickly, there was really nothing we could do to get into my neighborhood. We're here to present this check of $5,000 to the Risk Canyon Volunteer Fire Department. From there, the donations continued yeah. to pour in, like clothes, tools, and other essentials. The guys at Two Men and a Truck Moving helped us transport all of the items from McGuckin and those Walmart stores to the donation center in Loveland. We filled a 26-foot truck with food and blankets and all that kind of stuff. And finally, your generosity allowed us to give out cash, lots of it. For $75,000 to the United Way of Larimer County. This check is to help pay off some of the money you've already spent on building supplies. Wow. Holy cow. Awesome. And with this check, 
for $10,000. A few words that I can actually say that thank both Channel 7 and your guys' viewers. Denver 7 Gives would like to present the Columbine oh. Lake HOA with a check for $5,000. Thank yes. you, Channel 7. It means a lot. It really shows you how good people are. We lost our house, but we haven't lost our home. Dick and Ann, we'd like to give you $10,000. Oh, my God. Present you with this check today in the amount of twenty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> thank you so much. I can't thank you and your viewers enough. This is really the start of something amazing in Grand Lake, and we hope you all will come up and visit these trees. Oh, wonderful. And whether it's wildfire victims or anyone else in the community who needs a helping hand, you can always make a tax deductible donation to our Denver 7 Gives General Fund and 100% of those proceeds will help people in need.